What's up, everyone? Welcome to Sam Webcast. It's Wednesday. Wednesday. I'm talking fast because we got camera issues and we could lose everything <laughs> at any fucking second. No, we won't. No, we look, might. You don't three know. We are working right now. Look at that. It's well, just it's, fine. Yeah, we got three cameras. We got Max is here. Lynn's in the back. I'm here, and we're yeah. in the middle of Sweet Things Week. Yeah. What did we do? Croissant. We did uh, those little croissants. Croissantinis. And just let me tell you something. Anything with cream cheese and raspberry jam is magnificent. Grandma style. But today, what did you say? Grandma style. Grandma style. Speaking of grandma, Max says grandma style because that's what my mom, his grandmother, does. How apropos. Today we're making my grandmother's chocolate sauce. Mm. And I'm telling you, once you know this, oh, I gotta get, these lights are ugly on my face. Once you know this recipe, You'll never buy chocolate sauce again. You'll only ever make this. Uh, uh, you think I'm kidding about this? This shit is off the cook. Off the cook? Off the hook. <laughs> Stop it. Chocolate. What kind of chocolate? Butter. Oh, baked sugar. Chocolate. Wait. Nobody move. Evaporated milk. All right. Really quickly, speaking of grandmothers, we have my grandmother, your mother's 90th birthday this weekend in Los Angeles. Yeah, don't we? Whoa. It's going to be awesome. 90? 90. She's 90. 90 and she's amazing. She's got a bad ankle. That's about it. And she complains about it. Not a lot, but I mean, it hurts. Bad leg, bad, you know. And I go, Mother, uh, you got a lot of friends that would kill to trade places you, with you right now. Mm -hmm. She's got a 90, she's 90, 92 year old boyfriend. Nice. My father passed away a few years ago, so it's okay. All right, so here's what we start with. We're starting with Baker's chocolate. It can be anybody's chocolate, but like professional cooking chocolate that comes like this. What's the difference? Uh, well, this is unsweetened. You're not going to find really um, unsweetened chocolate in a, in a uh, civilian form. Mm. But you know what's funny? Because I feel like... Would it be bitter to the taste? Yeah, it is bitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, okay, interesting. So you need two squares, but in, in this form, uh, two squares means two of these, like this. So that's one square. Here's two squares, right? Okay. So we're going to melt two squares Wait, why don't of they just this. Why say put eight squares? That would be a lot. Well, because easier. the last time I got it, I, I, I'm really screwed up right now because I remember the last time I made this, the squares were like this size, right? Those are mm. rectangles, sir. These are rectangles. Yeah. No, I'm saying they were not in this shape. Hmm. So two squares is, that's too little chocolate. I think it's this. I hope I'm not effing this thing up. Welcome to the Sam Livecast. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. Damn it. Okay, so this pot on very low. Okay, so here's what this is. This is, we're gonna call this two squares. We're gonna call this two ounces of chocolate. That'll make everything good. And now we need, um, Three tablespoons of butter, which we'll call this one, two, three, because I think that was like too small. If we're cooking chocolate sauce, yeah, and you don't know how many squares to put in. I've said I know. I've I've corrected myself to say forget about the number of squares. We've got two ounces of chocolate in here. Got it. And we've got three tablespoons of butter. Okay, and we're melting it slowly. There are, look, there's this school of thought that says you have to have a double boiler. You know what a double boiler is? Mm -hmm. I mean, we got, we do, but does everybody? A double boiler is you've got a, a, a larger pot in the bottom with water in it that's bubbling away. It's on a, bro, a boil. And then another pot sitting on top of it, not with this pot touching the water, but getting the benefit of the steam. And it's a gentle way of melting whatever's inside of it. Yes, you could do that, but if you do this on low enough heat, look, you can barely see the flame here. This is gonna be fine, you're gonna be all right. So all we're doing right now is melting chocolate and butter, that's it. The double boiler is a little bit more forgiving. In my it is a little bit more forgiving, but you know what? I've never used one, I don't own one. Have you microwaved chocolate before? That works too, like in five second spurts. Yeah, you, you gotta be very gentle with that, right? But so look, the butter's melted, that nothing's burning, nothing's breaking, nothing's falling apart here. So you got two ounces of chocolate, okay? You got three tablespoons 
of butter. And now we've got to get the other two, the other um, uh, ingredient, which is sugar. Three quarters of a cup of sugar. Where's my sugar? Come on, sugar. Damn it. Three quarters of a cup. And you know what? Oh, I can already really smell that chocolate. Oh, yeah, just do it. Wait, but there's one half a cup. So a half and then another quarter of this is another. Okay, here we go. The math is strong with this one. <laughs> My grandma Ruth, that you know what, I'm so sorry is no longer with us. I would love to. I didn't appreciate cooking until long after she passed away, and ah, I would love to spend a few hours with her in the kitchen. Okay, Maxie, come. Uh, I got to think about this. Okay, so the sugar goes in, so here's a half a cup. We'll bring this in slowly. Remember, don't freak out and go, oh my God, it's so much sugar and there's a chocolate and na 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 Because remember, it's unsweetened chocolate, right? Yeah, have you tried unsweetened chocolate before? Yeah, it's horrid. It's like, it's the worst. It's terrible. I'm using a little pot. I mean, jeez. <laughs> I could have a, a bigger one. Okay. So there's a half a cup. My grandmother was an amazing cook. Amazing cook. And she did nothing with recipes. I found some of her recipes after she passed away, but there was, there was nothing useful in there. <laughs> okay, so that was a half. And now we need, we need three quarters, so I need another half of a half of a cup. So, right? We'll finish this off. And then the secret ingredient, I don't know that it's so secret, but... It's what she did. Because you can see this is super thick and becoming like a paste. Mmm, chocolate paste. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie, chocolate man, it does look like a lot of sugar. It looks like a lot of sugar, right? Maxi, back up for a second. I gotta get a I gotta get a can opener. Here we go, ready? Boom. Oh, evaporated milk. milk. Or yeah. Uh -huh. Evaporated milk, which is like uh, I don't even know what it is. It's milk that's been evaporated. Yeah, so it's like more. It's, it's like th condensed milk without the sugar, right? Right. It's like okay. So we're just gonna add all this. This is a uh, five ounce can. Beautiful. And now we Some do magic. this. Actually, we do this. We get it. Sorry. We get a whisk. We get a whisk. And now we do this. We mix everything really well. Because we've got three quarters of a cup of sugar in here. We've got this chocolate. And now our goal is to bring this to a boil. Look what's happening. You see how it's getting gorgeous? Gorgeous. So now here's our goal. Our goal is to bring it to a boil, stir, Let it boil for a couple minutes. Really? And then we're there. This is the weirdest chocolate sauce recipe I've ever seen in my Have life. Have you made chocolate sauce? Yeah. You did some Taiwanese version? No, I just never, it, boiling has like just never been the, the yeah, thing. Yeah, I know, I know. That's the weird trust part. Me, trust me, trust me, trust oh, me. Oh, no, I trust you, man. Trust me. I trust you. Okay, so now we wait for this to come to a boil. What are we doing with this, by the way? <laughs> well, I got an idea. Trust me, I got an idea. So it's just, start, it's just starting to come to a boil on the edges. I'm going to continue to stir it. So I'm in the supermarket today, and I'm at the self-checkout. And the self-checkout is where you, you do your own thing, right? Can't buy alcohol there. You the can. No. Take not, not anymore? No, not at Vines. I've, maybe huh. that's, re that's new. No. I promise all my life that's new. I've bought booze there many times. They wait, just wait. come and check your ID. They do. At Vines? Yes. Okay, my Vons, if they will not sell you alcohol at the self checkout. Huh. That's weird. That's super and when strange. you because they apparently they had a problem not checking ID. Oh. Mm. So 
so that's their fault. I'm there. trying not to be mean yeah, about stupid. them. Or anything, I mean, that's ridiculous. Right. So, Everybody and now you when you check. when you check out at like a like a like a manned station, yeah, they ask you for your date of birth. They don't oh. actually look for. It. They don't want to see it. They just say, "What's your date of birth?" and they punch it in. Why? What? No, that's so they're that's, still that's, not checking. That's IDs? wrong too. Yeah, hey, I'm just telling you what it is. Did, it's not my store. I'm not making the. So they had rules. problems with IDs, and now they still don't check IDs. Well, you can't you can't buy alcohol you can't buy alcohol at self checkout. Hundred mm-hmm. percent. Period. That's the way it is. Interesting. I don't know about other stores. I just know about that. Interesting. So this is starting to get thick and yummy and delicious. Okay. So we'll give it a couple minutes. Two three minutes of boiling, and you're there. So uh, I'm there today, but they have, there's like, there, at this Vons, there's four self-checkouts, and then there's a, a, a manned position at the end where the person monitors, and if there's a problem, they can fix it, right? Mm-hmm. So one of the people. And Amber's there today, and she's awesome. I adore her. I mean, I really like her. She's a great employee. She's super good. And we're talking, and I say something, and I make a joke. Like, when you do self-checkout, you can get cash. When you get cash, you know... You do your card at the, at the regular checkout, and it says, do you want to get any cash back? And you say, yeah, I want 40 bucks. And then the cashier hands you 40 bucks. When you do it at the self-checkout, what happens is, is, that, is that you say you want 40 bucks, and then it comes out down at the bottom of the machine. Oh, mm-hmm. right? it's like an ATM. Twice, I've forgotten that, my mon- <laughs> that I asked for money, and I left. What? I went back once. They had gotten it and they'd put it in a drawer. The second time, like they knew nothing about it. Like yeah. somebody had grabbed it. Uh. So, so there today, I'm saying to, so, we're, I'm talking to Amber and I can't remember what it is. And I say, blah, blah, blah. It's a good thing I didn't get money because I forgot it once. She goes, oh my God. So she goes, uh, a guy that works at the postal annex, his name is Trunk, uh, like a few stores away. She goes, so Trunk comes in here, I don't know, sometime back. He gets $200 cash, right? He checks out, says, do you want any cash? He punches in $200. He forgets his $200. Whoa. Okay. He goes back to the postal annex where he works. He realizes it. Look at, look at how gorgeous this that is looks now. awesome. Look at the color. It's like ganache, right? Yeah. It's gorgeous. It's shiny. It's like ganache. I don't need it to be any further where it is. I'm going to stop this right now. Finish the story, and then I'm going to show you what we're going to do with this. So, Trunk comes back, I don't know how long later, uh, a half an hour, 20 minutes, whatever, and he goes, oh, my God, I got $200 cash. I left it in the machine. I didn't get it, and I split. And so they look. There's nothing there. Nobody's turned anything in. So Amber, A, a great employee, B, really nice, and C, super smart. And she goes like this, hmm, I'm going to check the camera and the receipts out of that machine. Hmm. So he's got his like his receipt, right? She checks the receipt before it and the camera on those machines. It's like Vegas, they got cameras everywhere. Mm-hmm. Right. So she can see the card number of the person who uses like his ATM card and she recognizes who it is. The person who took his cash. Recognizes the number? Recognizes the face of the guy. Mm. The guy who goes now to the self-checkout position, does his groceries, he looks down, he sees 200 bucks, he takes it out of the machine, he puts it in his pocket. What? And he walks out of the store. And Amber knows A, who this is, and B, who his wife is. Like she would know Kelly if Kelly came in because we shop all the time. She goes, the next day the wife walks in and she goes, uh, this is a little awkward, but did your husband, your husband come home with a dozen roses yesterday? Because that's what he was checking out with. Yeah. And she, the woman goes, yeah. And he goes, she goes, well, guess what? There was $200 in the machine that he took out that wasn't his. Whoa. Woman left. Half an hour later, the guy came back in with $200 in hand. No it. way. Can you believe that? That's crazy. Can you believe effing people? That's nuts. That somebody would do that? Yeah. I, I, I just, I'm just... I'm, I'm st- like shaking my head right now. I'm stymied by that. Uh, that. That blows my mind. But that also, kudos to Amber. Yeah, she's amazing. 
If look, if I had, if I was starting a grocery store, I would go and cherry pick her out of that store and say, <laughs> "Come work for me," because you're so awesome. But, I mean, without this, she was a great employee. Anyway, um, okay, so let's do this. Should we take a break, Max? Yes. Let's take a break. Max's arms are tired, and he's he's not in very good shape apparently. So we'll take a break. He can put the camera down. When we come back. I'm going to show you what to do with this most outstanding Grandma Ruth's chocolate sauce because you're going to want to know what to do with this and it's going to be fantastic. Oh yeah. See you in a second. If you've watched this show for any amount of time, you know that Perch sponsors us. The Perch.com on the internet, kitchen, bath, outdoor, amazing. It, it, look, it's this simple. You walk into one of their stores, you go, oh, I need a sink. You walk into one of their stores, you're like, Oh my God, I've never seen anything like this before. You think I'm making this stuff up because you're a sponsor of the show. Oh no, I'm not making it up. It is the way it happens. You'll be blown away. Go to theperch.com, check them out on Facebook. You'll love them like we love them. It's an amazing store. Amazing store. And we're back. Oh, so now we have to deal with this. Deal with and it. And I don't mean have to deal with it because it makes it sound like I don't want to. Wait, I'm just looking for something. I think I have it. Uh, we will deal with this because this will be outstanding. So look, the obvious things to do with, with chocolate uh, uh, sauce like this, what would they be? Drink it. Cake? Yes. Cake, yes. Chocolate strawberries. Strawberries, yes. Chocolate. I'm not a huge freak, fruit guy, though. Rice Krispie treats. Yes. <laughs> yes. Ice, ice cream, apparently. Ice cream, <laughs> apparently, says the, uh, the giant man in the back. Now let me just let me think about how I want to plate this. We'll just do that. I actually don't look very giant when I'm back here. I look very normal size. No, you look normal size when there's nobody beside you. Wow, I gotta put the dishwasher on because there is there's not one spoon <laughs> in here. How is how am I supposed to deal with this? This is not the way I want to do this. <laughs> okay, we'll take it. <laughs> Okay. You don't have ice an ice cream, cream scoop? Uh, I might actually now that I've said, now that I've done that. <laughs> but I don't, I mean, I like using like regular, regular spoons and stuff. So let's do this. Oh God, I don't have any spoons. I gotta clean this one that's right here. Pardon me while I clean a spoon. Welcome to the Sam Livecast where we apparently can't get our lights right. We can't get our spoons clean. <laughs> hey, you now know, it's on me. In your defense, you do cook for other shows all day. I, yeah, I know, but still, I could have had this. But apparently, the last show you did required like 40 spoons, so. Effing thing ready. Whatever. <laughs> right, okay, so look. So now, so now some chocolate sauce. Mm. Oh. Wow. It looks it's like hot, fun. Right? It's hot, so it's going to start melting that, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Whoa. Okay, some sliced almonds. We're going to use these on Friday, Friday show. Sliced almonds on there too, right? And a little, uh, little powdered sugar. Okay, here's the other thing. Ready for this one? This might be one of my favorite things to do. What can I use? Ah, uh, I guess I gotta use this. No, we'll use this. Plate. Little bowl. Let's put some chocolate in here. You ready? Come down here, Max. Check this out. Ready? Smooth. That's freaking gorgeous. Oh my god, I just licked some off my finger. Right here. Holy shit. You know what's coming out of here? Donuts. Croissants. Donuts, oh. I was right. Oh my god. Are yes. you kidding me? Donut like this. Now look, there's no reason for this madness other than to say, if you take a piece of donut like this, this is just a, a sugar donut. And you dip it in here. And then you've got this. And then you got this. Mm. 
Thank you. I'll be here all week. Try the veal. Oh my God. Grandma Ruth was a major genius when it came to this. Come on, let's have a little taste here, shall we? The little nuts, the sliced almond, the slivered almond. <laughs> mm. I don't even like those herbs. This is madness. And it's the perfect way to spend hump day on Sweet Things Week. Okay, one more and then I'm done. Jeez. I can't do this anymore. I gotta stop. All right. Friday. Mm. There's whipping cream involved. There's chocolate wafers involved. Mm. And there's goodness involved. You're gonna love it. It's a great week. I love theme weeks, which we tend to do most of the time. It makes me very happy. Thanks for being here. Tell your friends and come back Friday. You're going to want to see what that is. I promise you. Don't eat shitty food. Go make something good. We'll see you in a couple days. Bye.